Those guys are dog meat. But their equipment still seems to be in good shape. Mason will be relieved that his men didn't make too much of a mess of their weapons and stuff.
My hero! You did it! You're so big and strong. Now, would you kindly get me out of this stinking cage? Do not do it! I know this woman. She is not here by accident. She is a witch! If you free her, we all run the risk of falling under the power of her magic. But, Father, we can't just let this poor person die here. It would be inhuman. Inhuman? That is exactly what she is, my child. He's the wicked one. Aeolus, is it not? He's the one who imprisoned me, with no food or water, and barely clothed. I what? You lying bitch! Don't listen to her. Father? She is trying to manipulate you. Use your brain, child. I'm begging you, get me out of here. I can't hold on much longer. Who are you? My name is Edwin. The ignorant will tell you that I'm a witch, a sorceress, or even a necromancer. The truth is much simpler and more socially acceptable. I am, in fact, a magician. But neither as powerful nor as evil-minded as they think me. She lies to thee. She is hiding something, and it is not her body. You would say that. I beg your pardon? No, nothing. Believe me, she is powerful. She is evil, and she is a danger to us all. I've never been in the habit of just letting people die like animals in a cage, whatever their crimes may be. This woman doesn't look like a dead walker. That's enough for me. We'll take her back to Valvanor, and you can tell your stories to them. Stay away, you stupid girl! No, no, you fool! Don't release her! Now meet your eternity. What are you doing to him? Let him go! Very well. You may have him. I am finished. Father? Father? Oh no, no! This can't be happening! You're gonna wish you died back in that cell, you sick bitch! Wait, wait! If I am to die, I wish to know who stands before me. I don't need to answer you. You're the one who'd better talk, or your last meal will be your own tongue. Character. That's a change. Too bad it doesn't seem to be accompanied by a minimum of clear thinking. From what I can see, you're an imbecile, incapable of piercing the face that hides the true nature of the Red Scribes. Well, I can pierce your face, if that's all you want. In several places. Mock, if you like lamb that you are, you insist on believing that your employers are only scholars, curious and inoffensive. Can you not see more? Red scribes, ice lords, they come from the same mold and they want the same thing. Some are simply more successful in their efforts. Aeolus thought I possessed knowledge which he could use to become the equal of the ice lords. That's why he questioned me. So what? We're at war, and getting our asses kicked. We can't really blame him for trying to find a way to stop the Deadwalkers. Of course. It was for the good of all that I was captured and sequestered here in secret. It was to protect freedom that I was starved, tortured, and humiliated for weeks on end. It was goodwill and kindness that made him enslave a monster to guard my prison. <laughs> oh yes, I heard them, all of the screams. That beast did not lack for meat. No, indeed. 
Yes, in truth, the scribe was such a brave man that it was only for the happiness of his darling daughter that he tried to stab her. That's ridiculous! You are the monster! You're a liar! My father wasn't like that! A liar! You murderer! You'll pay for what you did! Sybil, wait! Shit. Shit! Relmar, you think you could find the girl and get her back to the village safe and sound? I will bring her back. Keep a close eye on your new prize. That goes without saying. Witch, I suggest you behave yourself if you don't want to find yourself back rotting in that cell of yours. I am far from finished with you. I have questions. Lots of questions. And you better make damn sure that I like the answers. So be it. Then I will tell you exactly what you want to hear, mercenary. You had the upper hand. Why did you decide to kill the leader of the Red Scribes? I desperately needed to replenish my power, so I drained his. My mood grows a bit murderous when I get too hungry, or when I spend too many days trapped in a filthy cell without so much as a toilet. Your friend was no hero. His aim was to reproduce the same ancient rituals that permitted powerful magicians to become the Ice Lords that we are fighting even now. He was not my friend, he was my employer. And a very influential man. You could have spared him, giving credence to your version of events. But you chose to kill him, and thus any chance of them listening to you. He was a deceitful and manipulative man. No one would have listened to me, so I permitted myself the pleasure of preventing him from harming anyone else. The World Heart has had nothing but suffering from these magicians. I rejoice at this death. We need more like it. Let's say I understand your reasons, but it was still a reprehensible thing to do that has put us both in a seriously shitty situation. We're gonna have to play this just right in Valvanor. We'll try to talk to the steward, or the Red Scribes will lynch you without a second thought. We? Am I to infer that you're going to help me, gentle mercenary? Somebody has to deal with it. You seem to take pleasure in exposing yourself. To trouble, I mean. It's true. I hate denying myself a little pleasure. But I'm not worried about the outcome. Aeolus's daughter saw everything. She is an innocent, and will confirm everything that happened here. All you need to do is deliver your model prisoner to your steward. The Red Scribes performed a ritual in an ancient temple. Does that mean anything to you? So that's the reason why he disappeared. The ritual was designed to augment his power. Had it succeeded, he would have become an accomplished magician, the first step toward becoming an Ice Lord. Given the ease with which I killed him, I suspect the ritual was a failure, or at least a partial failure. The ritual was no big deal, just a bit of light and smoke. Really? Yet you managed to destroy a creature that made a quick meal of every other living thing that had the misfortune of wandering by. You witnessed this ritual? Listen, I'm no expert in magic, but I would bet my firstborn child that Aeolus did not achieve the result he wanted. Well, given that he is now face down in the mud, I imagine we can agree on that point. Let's finish this discussion in Valvanor. We'd better get back before they send a battalion out to look for us. <laughs>